We had thousands of viewers contact us after a story we brought you two weeks ago about a new treatment for a chronic health problem. And no wonder. A clinic was claiming a 90% success rate in treating asthma sufferers. Well, we asked the Asthma Foundation and a top specialist to find out if the technique really works. Here's Peter Wilkinson. It takes a long time, but it makes it better, doesn't it? Hey? Come on, then. Hmm? Two weeks ago, we told you how five-year-old Leanne Harsant had nearly died of asthma at least four times. We've been told in so many words, the steroids and such, the high dosage of the drugs and everything else she's on, if it's not the asthma that kills her, it'll most probably be the poisoning from the steroids. It's okay, look. It's okay, just catch your breath. Twenty-five. The story we told you two weeks ago was about a new so-called asthma treatment. It's a Russian breathing technique, the Buteyko method. Yeah, catch your breath. Control your breathing more carefully. The practitioner is a Russian Sasha Stalmatsky. So all you've got to do to cure yourself of the symptoms of asthma is change your breathing technique. Y yes. Yeah, but they might give you some needles. They won't give you no needles. How do you know? We asked Leanne and Mother Karen to come to Sydney to try the Buteyko method. Run. Run. Hold on. Okay, good. Number one. I was just amazed. I, I couldn't believe it. Within two days, she was off everything. I'm, you know, convinced that it has worked for me. Can you get your much medicine? Leanne finished the course and is now back in Melbourne without almost all her drugs. Are you surprised? Yeah, no. I, I mean, I come looking for a miracle. I can't say I've actually found a miracle, but what I have found, I'm very, very, very pleased with. And how long have you been practicing this technique for? Uh, approximately three to four weeks. Well, Associate Professor Ivan Young, a leading asthma specialist, agreed to have a look at the Buteyko technique for the Asthma Foundation. Before we came, she was on very heavy medication. He asked to see about five patients and their medical histories. I was on Ventolin and Puffer, nebulizers numerous times a day, as well as the Puffer, prednisone, morning and night. Theodore, There's the case of Joshua Foster Brown, now 15. And Paul McCourt, which is a steroid-based drug. Joshua learnt the Buteyko technique and simply dropped almost all of his drugs. And had your specialist tried to take Joshua off the drugs and tried to reduce them? Yes, our specialist had certainly tried to reduce them. If I'd missed a day or something, I'd end up in hospital or just really sick. And how many times were you in hospital? Last year alone I was in six times. One year when I was about five or six, it was 23 times. Joshua is now one of the Trojans at McDonald's in the city, doing the kind of work he simply could never have done before. I think it's just wonderful. Our life has just been revolutionised, just turned around. Joshua Foster Brown finished his treatment and went off the huge drug regime six months ago. Were you advised by doctors or anyone else that your asthma was very likely to get better around the start of uh, 15, 16 or about the time the puberty comes on? So Joshua Foster Brown, Dr Ivan says, probably simply grew out of asthma, coincidentally at the same time as he did the treatment. Something somehow turned this around within the space of a week or two weeks. Joshua's come off a huge drug regime and he's gone from that to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely, oh, there are many, many such cases, many such cases. People's asthma gets better. It's such a variable condition. And but again, like, I must... Yes. Like that. Absolutely. Then there's Dr. Florian Messner, a musicologist. Asthmatic since the age of nine, now 56. He had periods of asthma until he came to Australia when his doctor agrees he became a chronic and continuous sufferer. That all changed 18 months ago with the Buteyko method. But is it possible that this could be one of those periods in your life when you haven't got asthma and that next week it could come back again? No, it, uh, I don't think so because it's still, I still have to work on this problem.
So there's no trick with the Buteco method. You've actually learnt a way to control your asthma without drugs. Yes. But again, Dr. Young is simply not impressed with people like Florian Messner or Giovanna Cancellieri and her daughter Olga. So it's just a coincidence that Mrs. Cancellieri it's got, a coincidence. got better at the time yes. she did this. It, well, that plus the placebo effect, which is a terribly, terribly important effect. The feeling that she gets better when she has someone taking a close personal interest and telling her that something is going to work. So that means it's happened to all of us. Everyone that's done the technique, including myself, has had this placebo effect Absolutely. to tell us that we're going to get better so we're better. And that's it. You feel better, definitely. Yeah. And then so none of the patients provided persuaded Dr Young that Sasha Stalmatsky's treatment was even worth a closer look. I don't say that I, I cured them, but positive results got every single patient. We've got proper records in, in our clinic, this for, for seven months. You've got proper records for seven months? Yes. So we telephoned the patients treated over seven months, only 39 people. Of the 34 contactable, we asked, was the treatment of no benefit, some benefit or great benefit? The results, they speak for themselves. Without the measurement, uh, it's really of no value. Well, that involves a trial which brings us back to the Asthma Foundation and the $2 million worth of asthma research it has funded. Should the Asthma Foundation test his technique and either then support it or kill it stone dead? It is my opinion, but of course the, uh, the scientific body would have to look at it, that they would say there is not sufficient evidence that this is likely to work to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a proper trial of it. Peter Wilkinson with that follow-up. And we should emphasise that the treatment remains unproven. Some doctors say it seems to have benefits, while others maintain it's all in the mind. We'll continue to monitor those patients and report on their progress.